Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. It's the 21st Call of Duty game and the second game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. For this special, special occasion, Activision really did something big. Finally, after all this time, the Call of Duty series finally done something new and brought some new innovation to the series. It's truly incredible how Activision is able to reinvent the idea of a sequel once again. New life has been breathed into Call of Duty after all the other times that they tried to breathe new life into the series. Warzone 2 is fully reinventing the Battle Royale genre once again. After the first Warzone went all the way to increase the playing count from 100 to 150, and the second Warzone added a different game mode, how could the third Warzone possibly reinvent the wheel? They went ahead and made a third map. The rest of the multiplayer is also shattering all the expectations. Instead of making anything new, they just use all the old maps from old games and put them into Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer with all of seven game modes to play on them. All the maps seem basically untouched from their originals, even with all the mess from the old games. It's all the favourites from the Modern Warfare series, like Terminal, where shit like this still happens. And there's Afghan, where the spawns are still fucked. Would you believe me if I told you this game was originally supposed to be a map pack from Modern Warfare 2? Thought Activision decided that they wanted to make even more money. They were only told that this game was actually a game and not a DLC in the summer of 2022. They had a year to make this game. And for some reason it was Sledgehammer Games yanked into this. The developers behind these franchise ties. Enough of the multiplayer though, it's time to introduce the other game modes. For the first time ever, Call of Duty Modern Warfare series, Zombies. There is a game mode where you kill zombies. How do they come up with these crazy innovative ideas? This is a whole new zombie experience like nothing you've played before. Instead of surviving unlimited waves and waves of zombies, they just chuck in a warzone map to play the DMZ mode from the last game. But this time instead of killing people, kill people and zombies. But all the innovation doesn't stop at the single player content. The new and wholly original zombies experience is just one piece of this beautiful puzzle. Beyond zombies multiplayer, there is everyone's favourite part of COD. The masterfully crafted campaign. Once again, Modern Warfare 3 innovates on the entire COD franchise and introduces new open combat missions where they use Warzone and multiplayer assets to make a big level and just chuck you in like a Warzone mission. They're really, really boring. That takes up like half the campaign and the rest of it's just standard COD campaign. Who could want anything more really? Thank god they made the decision to make this a full game or else we wouldn't have the two incredible other game modes that live off the multiplayer on Warzone. The developers were definitely given time to flesh these out and make them into worthwhile modes that people will still be playing for years to come. It is truly astounding how that Activision was able to make a sequel which takes up 100 gigabytes worth of space for my Xbox and cost £100 by the Volvo edition while barely making anything new. The only other sequel that managed to change the game this much was Overwatch 2 which actively took away from the original game. You can't help but constantly be impressed by Activision Blizzard.